All right, here we go and oh my goodness, smell-o-vision engage. This home has everything in all the right places and I am absolutely in love with it and I love, I just love how good this home smells. It smells amazing. This is your view when you do first walk in. A little excited, slurring my words a little. But uh, I'll go ahead and turn you around real quick. I'll let you check out this front door. So this is where you're gonna be coming through off the road. You do have a two car garage as well though. But then next to that, you have the formal dining room. Now this could be one of two things. You can turn this into like a pocket office or just like a, a office up here at the front of the home. Or of course you could have this really nice looking formal dining room. You've got the great big windows kind of going all the way around it. I like how this one's arched a little bit. You've got a little area over here just next to the stairs. You can put a little bit of decorations along this wall. Just the foyer itself, very inviting, very appealing. And then to the right hand side, you've got the stairs going up to the second floor. And actually, since we're here, we'll go ahead and do that. That way we don't have to come back to it later on. Check out all of the goodies up here. Now, with this one, it's set up with five bedrooms upstairs, but uh, you could bring that down to four uh, if you wanted to, or the way that the fifth bedroom is set up could be a secondary master suite if you wanted to do that. I think in this one, it's currently set up with a Jack and Jill, but nice little kind of loft area up here, another little TV space. You got a little media center, a little desk over here looking out towards the front of the home. Got some nice built-ins on either side. And then next to that, this is one of the things that I love about this home. It's got a little balcony up here. So you could always come out, put a couple chairs up here. Just kind of enjoy the view. And this brick color looks nice too. I did that just so I could come back in and smell how good it smells in here again. It's almost like, uh, I wanna say like a cinnamon. Like, think about Christmas time, like a potpourri, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of pine, something like that. That's what it smells like, so good. Anyway, all right, so as we're working down this hall, you've got a second floor laundry room. Now, there is an option just directly below this to have uh, a first floor and that closet's locked too. That'd be like a cleaning closet or a little storage closet. But anyway, if you didn't want this up here on this level, you could have it down on the bottom level. Or what I was talking to uh, the sales lady about, since you do have so many bedrooms up here, put like a little uh, laundry chute right there, especially if you had it on the second, on the first level, then everybody could just drop their clothes straight down into the, to the laundry room. Or you could turn it into a closet or something. Anyway, this is the first bedroom we're getting into. Nice little windowsill bench over here. And then into the Jack and Jill. Now I'd have to look at the plan to actually see which of these rooms uh, would be the secondary master if that's what you wanted to go with. But if you didn't want the fifth bedroom, whether it be the master bedroom or just another bedroom, uh, you can turn it into a larger media room. So you got shower and tub combo with the tile surround. And into the other half. I think this, uh, this vanity is a little bigger. But then you come into the second bedroom. All of them are great big sizes though. This one sits towards the back of the house. Let's see how big this closet is. Ooh, that's not bad. A couple of the other ones that we saw as soon as you opened the door. Uh, 
Well, I think the house next door had one of those closets. You just open up the door and the, the rods were right there and in your face. But coming out of there, you've got, uh, we're back in the hallway that leads back up towards the loft area, a little media center. You've got a linen closet right here and then two more additional bedrooms. So this is another one on the back side. This is bedroom three. Look how wide these windowsills are. Super wide. into its closet. I think this is the, yeah, see, this one's a little tighter, but still spacious, like still a good size closet. You know what I mean? Got attic access. And then next to that, you come into the fourth bedroom. I lose count sometimes. Oh, that's what it is. Maybe it's this one is the one with the media center. So there's no secondary. I was just thinking about it over in my head. And in this closet's the same as the other one. So I think there's only four bedrooms up here in this current model, but know that you could have a fifth. I don't think we're missing anything. But then you also have a nice little hole bathroom right here, which services these two bedrooms. Got the double vanity and then you've got the water closet back here. the shower and tub combo and the toilet. All right, now from here, we can go get into all the good, good stuff. We got all the bedrooms out the way. And as we're working downstairs, you know, if you are interested in this home or any home that we've toured across the country, cause we are traveling from coast to coast, uh, we go all over the place. So you can find all that information by clicking the link right there at the top of the description for this home, or you can go to timothyplivingston.com where you can search all the homes. You can watch the tours. You can filter them down for homes that meet your specific uh, needs. So definitely a cool little resource and it is all free. So this uh, little hall tree right here sits just across from the garage. But interesting note, this also sits right below the laundry room upstairs. So if you had the first floor laundry room, this would be your access point and you wouldn't have that hall tree right there. And then this is the two car garage. So some of these things you gotta do a little bit of imagining uh, just for the different layouts. But again, like I said, this home, it has tons of different uh, ways that it can be configured. But at the end of the foyer, you come into this great big kitchen. I mean, you've got tons of space. Oh my goodness. You might want to, you got an island over here, but you might want to get yourself another little, little mini island in the middle just to kind of boost that, that counter space. Not that you don't have a lot cause you do, but anyway, this would be where your refrigerator is. Cabinets not quite going all the way up to the ceiling. So you put a little bit of decorations up there. Got the gas stove, built-in microwave. Some nice wood adjustable shelves. Not soft clothes, but I'm sure that's something that you could upgrade to if you wanted to. And then look at this big old kind of buffet area. And you can get down with some Thanksgiving dinners on this thing. Got outlets going all the way down it. Ooh. And then here up underneath of the stairs, this is kind of a cool place to put it. You have your pantry. So tons of space right here. And then it kind of wraps around where it's actually up underneath of the stairs. So you could probably put a few things down there. And then on the opposite side, you've got this fun kind of Corner Island, I guess is what it would be. And they got some masks everywhere. But you got the dishwasher, nice undermount sink looking out into the living room. There it is, there's the culprit. <laughs> Whatever you are, you smell amazing. 
And then you've got some space for some seats over here on this side. Then next to that, this is like your little breakfast area, your little less formal dining room. Unless you nix the other dining room and turn it into an office, then this is your dining room. Got some windows all over the place. And then you've got access out here onto this back patio. Now this home is a lot bigger, but its patio is a little smaller than the, we just came out of this one right here, uh, which had a little bit bigger patio area, but you know, a nice space. You can put a couple chairs out here, put the grill, a little fire pit out back if you wanted to, just kind of hang out. But then next to that, you've got the living room, fireplaces galore. There's been very few homes here in Texas that we've been touring that uh, haven't had some kind of fireplace, which has been nice. But you got these great big windows back here in the back of the living room. Big old stone surround, big old thick mantle. And then just off of kind of the kitchen area in between that and the living room, I'd say. You've got a little half bath, a little powder room. So you've got the pedestal vanity and the toilet. And then you've got these double doors that come into the master bedroom. So really pretty. I love how they match the carpet with the accent wall. That's pretty neat. I wonder which came first. No, I'm just kidding, I know which one came first. This is fun too. Nice little lanterns. Just gotta get those decoration ideas, you know what I mean? And then you've got the windowsill bench, great big windows over there as well. And then into the ensuite. So you got a great big garden tub right here, kind of glazed glass picture window, got the double vanity. So we'll open these, see if... Again, not soft clothes, but something you could spend a little bit more money on and get. And then you've got this nice standalone shower. Got the shower head, tile surround. Got a little bench back here. I wonder if I could take all the homes we've toured and just pick the best parts of every home that I like, you know what I mean? And compile it together just to create a video that looks like a full home tour of the perfect home for me, you know what I mean? Obviously we all have the, a different idea of a perfect home, but I think that would be pretty neat. I think it would take some time though, but anyway. Let me know what you think about this home down in the comments. If you want any more information on this model, you can find that right there at the top of the description, or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search this floor plan and all the floor plans that I've toured across the country. You can see if they're built in your area, get price information, filter them down to find your specific home uh, that fits your needs and your family's needs. But with all that, I hope you enjoyed the tour. My name's Timothy, and I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.